Amar Reshi asked a computer program to write a book. I think it was write a children's book about a young girl who creates her own AI. And in a weekend, Alice and Sparkle was finished. Well, Sparkle was a magical AI that Alice created. Wow. Chat GPT is technology accessible and free to anyone on the web that impersonates what it's read on the Internet. Type in a request and it can write legal documents, software, even school essays. People are predicting it will wipe out whole industries. Attorneys, realtors, are we going to be out of a job? But Chat GPT as an AI system may pose ethical risks to users who are unaware of how the technology works. It in no way is reflecting the depths of human understanding or human intelligence. What it's really good at doing is mimicking its form. In fact, remember what I said earlier? But Chat GPT as well, I asked Chat GPT to write that line for me. Users who are then I asked for a knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Who? Chat GPT. Careful, you might not know how it works. What parts of our society could this change? the valuing of work, of human creativity. There are concerns around deception and potential uses for fraud. But I think that that's sort of only the tip of the iceberg here. The company that makes ChatGPT, OpenAI, was co-founded by Elon Musk and is now primarily backed by Microsoft. The company declined our request for an interview. The kids Amar made the book for seemed to like it, but writers and illustrators on social media did not. There are some super valid concerns from these artists. After all, ChatGPT could wipe out his job, too. Literally my line of work, you know, uh, apps, uh, design work, um, you know, product design work. And now he wants someone to solve this problem. What are mechanisms we can still compensate artists? That's the lesson to you here. That, that's definitely the lesson. Jake Ward, NBC News, San Francisco. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.